most important trait or quality of a leader is authenticity. Uh, that you're fully yourself, that you're, f you're fully grounded in, 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 in your values, the things you learned uh, at the kitchen table. Uh, uh, that in leadership in the church, that, that you're grounded in your faith, that, that, that it is a living thing. It <laughs> can include doubts. I mean, authenticity and honesty about your walk of faith, your walk with Jesus is critical. Um, and you gotta love people. At a recent gathering of, uh, which, is, which are held every two years, of the uh, Asian Lutheran International Gathering, which our unit sponsors, the Asian community of the ELCA, um, in Indonesia, there was a event alongside of it for young adults. And so close to 100 young adults from different countries in Asia, as well as from the ELCA, and many of them of Asian background, gathered together and, and, and spent time on their own leadership and their own burgeoning vocations in the church. And in that, um, the best part for me was 12 or 13 very deep, extensive conversations, um, sometimes on the bus when we went somewhere, sometimes in a corner, but where we went deep and where they asked questions and they felt like they could come alongside, we could come alongside of each other. And so questions about what do I do in my first call? How do, what, what would you do when you handled conflict? Um, uh, how do you think preaching uh, makes mission happen. Uh, those kinds of questions, I was learning as much as I was sharing. And it was a wonderful kind of conversation across the generations. That's the best thing, I think, about the, the call that God has given me uh, in domestic mission. And that is to interact with so many leaders, seasoned leaders, leaders uh, on the up and up, uh, but, but to watch them mature, develop, the light to go on and for them to, to, to begin to just lead in ways that are incredible. They're leading me as well. And so just that whole leadership interchange for me is, is, is a joy. Several things. Number one, uh, find somebody that you really admire and respect who's better than you are at what you aspire to be and do and, and attach yourself to them. I would make a covenant uh, with uh, pastors and lay leaders over the years that had things to teach me where, where uh, we would go to lunch once a month or we would meet at a certain time. I think that uh, if you're a pastor in a congregation, um, leadership, enlisting, getting leaders is all, it's an invitation to a relationship. And so spend the time do it personally, do it one-on-one. -on -one. The other is that Jesus' pedagogy was action reflection. He, um, he, you know, this, he had the Sermon on the Mount and then he had the Sermon down the Mount where he, he took them along and he did what he preached about. Uh, and then he sent them out and then they came back. And, and uh, I think to learn in the midst of the action, to learn by doing and, and then reflecting is critical. Small example, when you and the a uh, youth group go out caroling every Christmas and you go to nursing homes and, and, and homebound and so on. Don't send them home, come back. Ask, what'd you see? What did you hear? What did you smell? What did you think? How are you feeling about that now? And then maybe read Anna and Simeon, uh, you know, from, from the Gospel of Luke. So. Leadership, I think, is about action, reflection, and those spaces where we can really dig deep.